Okay. This is my water cooled little uh, pack for my stormtrooper armor. I have 3 8 rubber hose filled with water from the pack. It has this little drinking line. And we have a switch mounted right here, which activates the pump, which will sit underneath your shoulder belt. Fun, fun, I know. Now, inside the actual pump, or pouch, bag, whatever, in the front, as you see this wire coming up here, is where the batteries are stored. They're currently dead, so it's not going to work. I have four double A's, or eight double A's, and two carriers, and they're just wired and soldered together. Real fun stuff. Now, on the inside of the pack, I'm going to have to pull the little rubber hoses out a little bit. So bear with me here. I'm going to set the camera down for a second. Sorry about that. Now, so it's. Okay, get the hose and. We're pulling it out. Now, here we have. A modified, oop, looks like I pulled up on the wires, PC plug, which goes to the switch and to the water pump, which is right here. And I think I unplugged one of the hoses, which isn't good, which means it's probably dumping its contents all over the inside. Nope, we're good. Okay, and here's the setting I did. I took a T-splitter and a little bit of hose going to the conventional bladder. That This gray line is the feed line for your mouthpiece, which isn't necessary, but I keep it so I can drink if I need to. This is a three liter Camelback, by the way, black version. Then the second line we have coming off of here goes to a little binder. And I went, I went with this little bit here just for shits and giggles. And that goes through the hose that goes underneath your clothes, underneath your Under Armour. I find, well, with the spandex doesn't really matter, you can put it wherever you want, but if you like, I was doing yard work the other day, and I just put it around the waistband of my pants. I normally fill this with two liters, or under, one and a half, of ice. I just fill it up with ice as much as I can, and I add, add water till it's saturated, and then I stick it back in the camelback. And then for the lid assembly, I took the standardized lid and just drilled a hole through it the exact same size, and then epoxied it to the inside of it. So that's where it returns to the top. Um, you have to prime the pump though uh, with this particular pump which ran me $58. And to do that you suck on this end and it pulls it through. But if I was smarter, what I would have done is taken this hose here and put this straight to here and put this on this side so then you can suck the water through the pump, pump to prime it. And I think that's just about it on my backpack. It does bulge the armor just a tad, but uh, if you fill it all the way up it does. But if you're not overweight and your armor fits a little loosely, it bulges it slightly. You really can't see it much except for the you know feed hose. I wore it at C4 for the first day. I was standing out in line because I didn't sign up for it and it it worked really well but uh, once all the ice melts out you're pretty much SOL but then you can at least drink it or spray it down your legs that's what I did when I was getting hot I'd spray some of the water out because your armor and everything's pressing against it so it's under pressure and I sprayed it down my legs to keep them cool so I think that's it and I'll hope that helps <laughs> that was interesting.